I shuffle and I shuffle. That is the most dynamic footwork, okay? Because that allows me to break the rhythm and come in and out. Our biggest thing is the following. Footwork is king. Footwork rules every single thing. Why? Because footwork controls timing, angulation, and distance control. That's the most important thing. You control the timing by controlling the distance. You control your lines of attack and the angles of attack by using your footwork. You look at any good boxer, Sugar Ray Leonard, one of my favorites, watch him, he controls everything with his footwork. Muhammad Ali controls everything with his footwork. Uh, Grandmaster Angel Cabalas controls everything with his footwork. So footwork is everything. Bruce Lee controls everything with footwork. Watch the fight with Bruce Lee and Chuck Norris in slow motion. I know it was a film, okay? But slow it down and take a look at the footwork and the differences in the footwork. Footwork determines athleticism and your ability, remember, to move through time and space or control the timing, the angulation, and the distance. So footwork is king. So you're gonna see some footwork here that you might already know. I'm just gonna review it because there are only a few different ways to move with our feet. And there's gonna be maybe some things that are new for you to learn. But as always, absorb what's useful, reject what's useless, and then add that which is your own by researching your own experiences. For us, footwork, we break it up into three major categories, okay? So you're gonna see footwork here from boxing, all right? You're gonna see footwork here from fencing, and you're gonna see footwork here from Kali. So I'm gonna show you the three the, 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 from these three different methods, different footwork, that's just where it comes from, but eventually, it doesn't matter if it's boxing or Kali or fencing, you've gotta make it your own. So you've gotta spend the time and the effort working your footwork. Working closing the gap, working cutting your angles, working the faking and the fainting based off of your footwork. So the footwork is simple, but what you do with it is the time that you have to put in to master the footwork. Okay, so now getting on to our first piece of footwork we're going to do is this good old step and slide. So I get back into my stance here and it's a step and slide. It means I initiate with my front leg, I step and I slide my rear leg. I step and I slide my rear leg. If I want to go back, I step and slide, step and slide. Okay, step and slide forward, step and slide back, step and slide forward, step and slide back. I can go to the side, step and slide, I can go to the left, step and slide. Forward, step and slide, back, step and slide, to the right, back, and forward. But what's very important when we're doing this is we gotta make sure, as I mentioned before to you, that the muscle irradiation is happening and that you're not just kind of stepping and sliding and stepping and sliding, just doing the motions. Because if you practice your footwork incorrectly even one time, you're, you're programming something into your body that is uh, of less efficiency, and that's gonna get you in trouble. Why train anything less efficiently? So let's make sure when we do this, get into your coil, okay? So when I'm coiled like my cobra in this stance, I'm not gonna throw a strike, but you gotta notice that from the coil is where I'm gonna come from. So I step and slide forward, I step and slide back, step and slide to the right, step and slide to the left, okay? Forward, back, to the right, and to the left, okay? That's your step and slide forward. Very simple and very basic, okay? The next piece to that is the cousin to step and slide is the slide step, all right? Which is just slightly different, all right? So from here, I slide my rear leg and step forward, okay? That's the key thing. So you see that again? I slide my rear leg and I step forward. Slide my front leg and I step back. Slide my rear leg, step forward, Slide my front leg, step back from the coil. Slide forward, slide back. Slide forward, slide back. Now remember the difference between sliding and then going forward, sliding and then going back, or stepping and going forward, sliding and stepping and sliding back. Slight difference, it's a slide. If I wanna go this way, I slide. It's a lot harder to slide sideways, okay? You can look a little bit more like Michael Jackson. Okay, so that's not so necessary, but this slide is really in the forward and back. Slide up, slide back. Or step and slide, step and slide. Step and slide, step and slide. Slide up, slide back, okay? So your step and slide and your slide step. So that's there. Now, they all look very similar, but you've got to work them to make them um, very efficient. So from the outside eye, they may not pick up on it, especially the next piece, which is the push up which for fighting, I think it's the most important thing. The slide step and the step and slide are really good to set rhythms, but when you want to break the rhythm, you've got to have a good push shuffle. 
The push shuffle is going to be, you see push shuffle in basketball, you see push shuffle in football, you see push shuffle in uh, sprinting, you're pushing and shuffling your feet. So what I mean by that is, here was the step and slide, step and slide, here was the slide step and the slide step, but the push shuffle is like that. I push with my rear and both feet shuffle forward. I push with the front and both feet shuffle back. See that again, I shuffle and I shuffle. I shuffle and I shuffle. That is the most dynamic footwork, okay? Because that allows me to break the rhythm and come in and out. Similarly, if I wanted to push shuffle to the left, I push shuffle to the left. If I want to push shuffle to the right, I push shuffle to the right. Forward, back, to the left, to the right. See the slight difference? I step and slide, step and slide, step and slide. Push shuffle and push shuffle. It gets much different, and you gotta practice it and get these down. So the push shuffle, remember, is gonna be push shuffle forward, and then I push shuffle back forward, and then push shuffle right back out of it. Similarly, if I wanted to push shuffle, that's how I'm gonna push shuffle to the side. If I wanna go the other way, I push shuffle to the side, going that. If I wanna go back, I'm gonna go forward, if I wanna change my angle. So it's up to me to master these three basic pieces of footwork. So we have the step and slide, Slide step and the push up. Give it a try.